What up, homies? Got another DIY for you. I'm gonna try to keep this one simple and to the point. You know how the Land Rover Discovery has a side-mounted gear carrier? Well, I kind of made one of those using stuff that I already have at home. I'm hoping that even if you don't have this exact same gear, it might inspire you to make one of your own. I'm using my already existing trail racks, uh, which I only use one side of, so might as well do something with the other. This flat screen TV that's no longer mounted on the wall, so I'm gonna use the brackets from that. I'm gonna pop these right off and I'm gonna keep the hardware because I might use the same screws. It would probably be really cool to use this whole telescoping mechanism, but I'm only gonna use parts of it. I'm gonna be using this mounting bracket as well as the square that you see right here just to provide some extra structure inside of the box. Even though the trail rack's mounting plate's really cool, I'm not gonna use it for this build. Instead, I'll be using these vertical bars that mount to the rain gutters on the Jeep. On those, I'm going to stick these bars that go on the back of the TV. These mounting hooks that you see right there at the bottom, that's where the TV would hook up to this wall mount. So instead, I'm having the wall mount be part of the box and I can attach and detach it whenever I want. Once mounted, I could screw these down and secure it onto the Jeep. These do have some lips right here, so I might have to grind down the box a bit. We'll see. I'm going to line up that lip to these legs right here. Okay, now I'm going to screw this bracket onto the box itself using the existing holes. I'm going to stick the bolts through and use this little part of the bracket to provide support on the other side. I marked my holes, now I'm just drilling right through it. Just using these self-locking bolts that already came with the mount making sure I clean off that excess plastic so it sits flush, and securing the plate on the inside of the box. Looks pretty clean if I do say so myself. Now bear with me as I try to mount it using one hand and holding my phone with the other. Not the easiest thing in the world. Bear with me as I struggle to put this on without any camera gear, but essentially I'm just bolting it down. Now, it's pretty secure. It's meant to hold an 80 pound TV. So, you know, do with that information what you will. And be aware that you're now gonna have a blind spot. It doesn't completely block your view, but it sticks out just under nine inches. I daily drive my rig, but wanted this so I can put all my recovery gear for whenever I'm overlanding. There's probably better boxes you can use, but with some bungee cords, I feel like it keeps all my stuff that I need in there without it falling off when I open it. I got a recovery strap, some gloves, a couple of shackles, a shovel, and a tiny air compressor. Um, it all fits in there comfortably. Even though thieves will be thieves, there are some uh, lock holes in this box so you can secure it to some degree. And of course, I'm adding an extra strap just to, for extra security since I'm gonna be on the freeway, you know? That's not going anywhere. I hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe and do all that stuff so you can keep up with the DIYs. See you next time. Peace out.